Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the DPO plugin for OpenCart. Let's get started. To begin, you're going to want to head over to GitHub, DPO Group, DPO OpenCart, and navigate to the Releases tab. Now you need to download the DPO Group OpenCart plugin version 1.0.0 for OpenCart version 3.0.3.7. You might be using a newer version of the plugin, and that's great too. You'll need to save the zip in a safe location on your computer when downloading it. Common places for this are either the downloads folder for your user or the desktop. Once downloaded, you'll want to extract the zip file. Many operating systems now come with built-in file extractors. However, if your operating system doesn't have this functionality, you can use a free unzipping program such as WinZip. Alternatively, you can go to google.com and search for unzipping applications and see what you can find. Once extracted, you want to expand and open the folder. You will see three files in here, which is the changelog.txt, a zip file, and the instructions PDF. The next step is to open the instructions PDF and follow the steps contained therein. Steps one and two are used to install the plugin on your site, but we're going to skip them and show you a faster way to install the plugin on your OpenCart backend. So what you're going to do is log into your OpenCart admin area, then you're going to click on the extensions menu on the side, and click on the installer button. Once this page loads, you should see a section called upload your extensions. You're going to click on the upload button inside this. Now navigate to the extracted folder and select the zip inside the extracted folder. The name might change depending on what version you're using. So just make sure you click the zip inside the downloaded folder. Once the upload is complete and you see the success message below, then we can go back to the instructions PDF and resume from step three. Now what we've just done is called the automatic installation, whereas the PDF document shows the manual process for steps one and two. For step three, we're going to need to click on the extensions menu from the admin backend and click extensions under the drop-down menu. So let's do that now. Here's the extensions menu and here's the extensions menu item. Now under choose the extension type, you're going to click this drop-down and select payments. There are 54 payment gateways shown on our screen. So what we're going to do is scroll down until we find the DPO group payment gateway. Now, if you see here, it says the payment gateway is disabled, which means it's not live on the website. So what we're going to do is install it and then enable it. To install it, you're going to move your mouse to the right in line with DPO group and click on the green install button. Once installed, the button should change to a red color with a minus on it. Now the plugin is installed, but it's not enabled yet. In order to enable it, we have to add in the DPO group merchant token and service type to the plugin. So to do this, you're going to move your mouse to the blue edit button and click on it. Once the page loads, you're going to find the merchant token and service type fields and fill in your DPO merchant token and service types respectively, both of which will be provided to you by DPO group upon registration. Below that, we have the test mode dropdown, which currently is set to disabled, which means that the plugin is live and transacting. If we enable it, it means that the plugin will be set to test mode and all transactions that come through will not be counted as valid and added to your account. Below that is the GeoZone dropdown, and below that is the status dropdown, where you set the plugin to be enabled or disabled. Let's enable the plugin now. If we move our mouse to the top and click on the order status tab, it will allow us to change the order statuses based on whether the transaction is successful or not. For example, initial order status, so it's great to put that as pending. If an order is successful, you can set it to processing or to complete. Processing is a commonly used option though. Failed order status, you can either set to canceled or you can set to failed. Canceled order status, you can set to cancel as well. So generally it's a good idea to have a different order status for failed versus canceled so that you can tell if there's a problem with the payment gateway or if the customer is simply browsing. Once you've set up all of your order statuses, Click the save button in the top right corner of the window. Now that this text is showing on the screen, it means the plugin is installed. So let's go to the front end and do a test transaction to make sure. Once you get to the payment method section of the checkout page, select the pay via DPO group option, then click continue. If the integration is successful, you should be redirected to the DPO group payment page, which is the one shown in the window here. If you are seeing it on your side, it means the plugin is configured correctly. Congratulations.